Thank you, Yeshua. Holy, 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 Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Sikaya katabori katayaba. Libro sikitari kutura bashanda baya. Worship you now. Holy, holy, holy. I am Heavenly Father, we thank you. Holy Ghost Divine, we welcome you. King of kings and Lord of lords, we bow before you. You are holy. Great is thy faithfulness. The way to our fray are gathered in your name. You are there in their midst. So we know you are here, the great and mighty one, the king of the whole universe, the God of all the earth, the Lord of hosts. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Holy Spirit, our dependable helper. We know you are here to help us, to guide us through. We bow before you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. The first day, the first day, there, we've got to deal with something the Lord has stirred up in our spirit to deal with. Dreams, dreams, dreams doesn't end the hour you have it, the day you have it. Many times is just the starting point. Many times is just the starting point of something big. Sometimes good, sometimes horrible. But thank the Lord who has given us power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and upon the powers of the enemy, and they shall by no means hurt us. Mm -hmm. The Lord has given us authority, power over all devils. But he said, we shall trample, power to trample, not to stumble, Praise God. Power to go on the offensive, to trample upon serpents and scorpions. You know, the serpents, they are deceptive, but they are dangerous. You can call them for, for, for enemies. Scorpions, they are Small, but their venom is bigger than the size of the serpent. Forces and powers and people as well that you neglect. You look at them as nothing, they are tiny. But when they sting you, you need help. <laughs> Praise God. The powers of the enemy 
to trample upon the powers of the enemy. So you look at a man, look at a woman, and you say, that's my enemy. No. And the authority, the power God has given to us is not over that man or the woman, but over the power behind that man or the woman. The power behind the attitude, the power behind the venom, what is moving that person. God has given us power over them to destroy them, to trample upon them. Praise the Lord. So we've got to exercise the authority, the power. We've got to shoot the arrow at the right target. For God has given us power to, 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 to trample upon serpents and scorpions. Power over all the powers of the enemy. If the generator that supplies light to a house is broken, is bombed, immediately all the, all the fridge and air condition and everything that that generator powers goes off. So we have power over the powers of the enemy. If the generator or if the if the fridge has broken and, and, and somebody it shocks, it starts to shock people shock people. If you touch the, the fridge, it paralyzes the person. You just go to this to the switch and turn it off. And the fridge will not have the power to shock anybody again. So this very period we will turn off the powers of the enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We've got the authority through Christ Jesus to turn off their power. The powers behind the covens, the powers behind the enemy, we have authority over them. Okay. And many a time, why are we talking about going through dreams to pray? Many a time, the things we dream, we have dreams, in fact, dreams, Many, most of the dreams contr is controlling our life today. Most of the dreams you have when you were five years, two years, three years, four years, five years, 15 years, 20 years, or whatever. Many of the dreams you had then is still having influence in your life today. But then we have power over the power that is driving that dream. That dream has a power behind it. Joseph had a dream. It's just a dream. But that was the beginning of his destiny, of the journey of his destiny. It's a, it was just a dream. But that dream did not end that day. Things started to happen. The brothers plotted against him. Reuben intervened and said, no, we will not kill our own. Let us put him in the, in the dish, in the pit. And when they put him in the pit, Reuben went away so that he would come back eventually and bring him out. Judah said, no, why should we allow our own to die in the pit? And then while Reuben was out, they went and brought the uh, uh, Joseph out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces of silver, sold him to the Ishmaelites. And then those ones sold him to the Egyptians, Potiphar. But that was the journey of his destiny triggered by the dream. So many of the things we are passing through today has been triggered by the dream we had. And how we handle that dream. Let me say it again. How we handle that dream. Joseph told his brother. That is how he handled it. He told his family. Did he handle it very well? 
God knows. But the ones you had, how did you handle it? Praise God. Dreams are supernatural and manifesting in the physical, controlling our lives. So there are dreams we had yesterday's. You haven't forgotten it. It is like yesterday in your in your heart, mind, in your spirit, in your conscience. And you continue to remember it. That dream is still alive. And whatever it's working is affecting our lives. But tonight, this period we have come to pray, to deal with those dreams. They will turn out for our own good. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will start with sexual dreams. Praise God. That's where we will start. What are we doing? We have come to pursue. We have come to overtake. We have come to recover all. We have come to pursue. We have come to overtake. We have come to recover Everything we have lost in dreams or true dreams. We will destroy the power behind the evil dreams. Jesus said, before you can, you can plunder the house, the storehouse of the strong man, you will first and foremost bind the strong man. So the power behind those dreams, we have authority over them. They'll be destroyed. Amen. They'll be switched off. Amen. And those dreams will be neutralized Amen. or reversed. Amen. And then whatever they have denied us over the years, whatever they have stolen over the years, we will call for their restoration. Amen. We will recover all Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Praise the name of Yahweh. So, First and foremost, we'll deal with sexual dream. I'll just read this so that we'll pray for the next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you, I want you to be expectant, expectant and angry in your spirit that this has lingered for years. But there's always uh, uh, Job chapter 20 from verse 5 says, or from verse 4, that from, the time, from the, the time man was placed on earth, the triumphing of the wicked never lasts forever. So there is always an expiry date to the activities and works of the wicked. And we have come to that expiry date for the, uh, concerning the evil dreams, evil ones that influence our life through dreams. We call it dreams, but they're actually spiritual encounter, spiritual exchange, spiritual transaction, but uh, their end has come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And in verse 15 of that Job 20, the Bible said that God will not allow them to keep in their belly what they have stolen from us. He will cut them open and they will vomit it. And in the last verse of that Job chapter 20, the Bible says this is their heritage, this is their portion from the hand of God. So we know their end. We must take back what has been denied us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So tonight we will deal with sexual dreams. <sighs> Holy Ghost, help us here. Genesis chapter 49, and I read. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days, that he may tell them the future. Gather yourselves together, verse 2, and hear you sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel your father. Verse 3. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity, underline that, the excellency of dignity, the firstborn, the might, 
the beginning of his strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. What an endowment he was born with, with this. Verse 4, unstable as water, the downside. Thou shalt not excel with all these endowments. The father said, I see something else. You are unstable as water. You shall not excel. Why? Because thou wentest up to thy father's bed. Then the defilest thou it. He went up to my couch. What was he saying? That Reuben defied the father's bed. Sexual sin. Hallelujah. And the father said, it's not that Joseph Jacob was placing a curse on Reuben here. Jacob was saying, this is the consequence of this action. This is the consequence of what you have done. You have all these accolades, all these virtues. But when you fall prey to this downside of your person, when you fall prey to this, it nullifies all the other excellencies, the excellency of power, the excellency of dignity. Jacob wasn't laying a curse. No, he was revealing what, what even Reuben have no idea that has happened to him. He has no idea. But the father was saying, I'm telling you what will befall you in the later days. Reuben, you are or you are you are endowed. But if but this aspect of you can counsel that endowment. Glory to El Shaddai. And when you go to um, Revelation chapter 7, when they are calling in verse number 4, and I heard how, Revelation 7 verse 4, and I heard how many were marked with the seal of God. 1,444,000 uh, we are sealed from all the tribes of Israel. Then it started with Judah, not Reuben, the firstborn. Judah, 12,000, before he called Reuben. Why? He lost his firstborn position. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. But he did not lose his position completely. But he lost the firstborn position. For this reason, what reason? Sexual sin. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter number five. First Chronicles, chapter five, verse number one. These we are the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. Though he was the firstborn, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, son of Israel, because Reuben defied his father's bed. So he is not reckoned according to the birthright or according to genealogy. You see that? The firstborn right shifted to Joseph. When they were, this is when they were dividing the land. So we can get a picture here of what the consequences of sexual sin. Now, we want to pray. Many of us while growing up, while grown up, physically, in the dream, we have engaged in unholy sexual activities. 
But thank God for Jesus, we have a second chance. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have a second chance. Let me show you one thing, one more before we pray. Deuteronomy 33. While we say thank God for Jesus. Moses, the man of God, look at Reuben. At this time, Reuben has died. It's now the, the generation of Reuben that Moses was speaking to. That Moses was speaking to. But he, look, he looked at that generation and saw a generation that was dying off. He saw a generation that was dying off because because of the manifestation of the downside. The father said, what you, this thing can make you not to excel what it what did um, Moses do? Moses looked at Reuben and said, Reuben, thou shall live and not die, mm -hmm. and your men shall not be few. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Reuben has died years ago, but now Moses was looking at the at the tribe of Reuben, and he was still seeing the same demon. And what that demon is capable of doing in the last days. And then he intervened, praise the Lord. Amen. And Amen. said, thou shall live and not die. Yeah. He didn't say children of Reuben. He said mm -hmm. Reuben. Hallelujah. And Jesus has come. Even higher than Moses. Amen. That we shall live and not yeah. die. Yeah. That our men shall not be few. Mm -hmm. That we shall excel to the glory of our Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. So our first prayer here is, Father, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. In all ways, I have fallen sexually. Forgive me. It was this. Why did in the in Genesis uh, Revelation seven Jesus came through the tribe of Judah to to take back to reestablish that position of the firstborn. It is very important. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we are joined to Jesus Christ. Amen. So our, our own portion at this season, and why God is bringing up this thing, this season, the Lord knows. But we know that when He, when we open our mouth to pray in the season, like Ezekiel, things will shift in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Moses intervened. Glory to El Shaddai. And we have come to cry, to intervene, and say enough of this thing that has been denying us our firstborn position. Praise God. If you come to a family when they share meat or share everything, they'll call the firstborn and say, you take first. Praise the Lord. Imagine they put 1 million, they put 100,000, they put 10,000, and then they call the firstborn and say, no, you are not going to take the first. They call the last and say, take the first. What, what do you think the first we take? The person we take. You take what? One million. Praise the Lord. So if we have been denying, if we have been denied by any means our firstborn position, this very season, it will be reversed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because we have Jesus. We have Christ Jesus. So there are sexual sins we committed 
in the physical and there are ones we commit in the spiritual. But we'll come there first. Let us pray. Father, forgive me. You know, we must have prayed this prayer a million times. But we thank God who forgives sins. Hallelujah. We come before you this hour to say again, have mercy on us. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family members. Pray for your household. Every sexual sin we repent again, oh God. We repent again and cry out to you, mighty God. In the name of Jesus God. Whether committed physically or in a dream. Whether physically or in the dream. Father, we humble ourselves before you. And say, mighty God, have mercy on me, oh God. Have mercy on my family. We tear our heart and not our garment. Abba, Father, we cry to you. Have mercy on me, O God. We didn't see that the Reuben repented. No. But even after years, Moses was able to see something and intervened again. Mighty God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my brothers and sisters. Have mercy on our children. Have mercy on us. We are praying concerning sexual sin. Hallelujah. Jesus said that when we look at a man lustfully or look at a woman lustfully, he has polluted our soul. Makida bragaturi masupale. He has he closes that gate of excellency of power and dignity. Masakataya. Father, have mercy on us, O Lord. Somebody cry this night. Oh masikata rabashanda. In all ways. I have committed sexual sin, my God, spiritually or physically. Father, have mercy on us, O God. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my wife. Have mercy on my children. We confess our sins, O Lord, and say, Abba, Father, we have sinned against you. Our eyes have looked upon that which is defiling. Our thoughts have gone towards that which is defiling. My God and my King, we come to you this hour and say, forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, King of glory. Forgive us, ancient of days. Forgive us, have mercy on us, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out our transgressions. Wash us thoroughly from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sins, O Lord. Abba, Father, every, every sexual sin I have ever committed in my life, my Father, I humble myself before you. Pray that prayer. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every sexual sin, the ones you remember, the ones you do not remember, whether through the dream or in the physical, Masakata, whether you look at somebody lustfully, Harabashanda, and you pass by and it didn't occur to you to repent. My God and my King, have mercy on us. Abba, Father, have mercy on us, King of glory. Ancient of days, have mercy on us, Abba, Father. Father in heaven, we come to you individually and as a church, as a body. And we say, Father, in many ways we have faulted. In many ways we have fallen. In many ways, Abba, Father, thou alone are true. Forgive us, King of glory. Forgive us, ancient of days. Watch us this hour. Look at our estate. Look at our conditions. Look at us, Abba Father. And remember that your son, Jesus Christ, he died for this reason. He shed his blood for this reason. That we shall be cleansed of all these sins and the consequences be wiped away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Father, have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to cry out, Father, whatever I have lost, whatever I have lost, whatever I have lost because of sexual sin, because of sexual immorality, because of sexual weakness, Abba, Father, we cry for restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ. Excellency of power, excellency of dignity, might and strength, riches and wealth, health and power, 
wisdom and intelligence, courage and sound mind. First position, Malika Toraba. Whatever I have lost, I cry, Abba Father, for restoration because Jesus died. Jesus resurrected and we have accepted him as our Lord and Savior to restore all things unto us. Whatever our parents, our brothers and sisters have lost, whatever our children have lost, our Father, whatever we have lost due to sexual immorality, my Father, my Father, my Holy One, the Creator of Israel, we cry for restoration, Abba Father. If you mark iniquity, who shall stand? If you mark iniquity, who shall stand? Abba Father, restore, O oh Lord. Restore the glory we have lost due to sexual sin. Restore, cause to be restored, O oh Lord. The wealth and the visions and the dreams and the, and the high positions that we have lost, Abba Father. Because we engage either physically or spiritually in sexual immorality, Abba Father. Abba Father, have mercy on us and stretch forth your hand and cause to be restored our dignity, our power, our glory, our honor, our riches, our position in high places, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Abba Father, Jesus Christ. You are holy shine. He died for us. He shed his blood for the remission of our sins and our salvation. Father, hear the cry of your people. Hear the prayers of your people, Abba Father. King of kings, you said in your word, you will forgive us of all iniquities. You will cleanse us of all iniquities. And then you will heal us of all diseases. And then you will deliver us from the pit of destruction. And then you will satisfy your mouth with Good things. Akaraba Shanda, Maka de 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 Bosia, Rabraga da Tora Bahande, Hika do Brosica Taya, Magado Sica da Bragota Raba, Mandeke Tebosh. Oh, Jesus, mercy on Lord. Mercy on us, Abba Father. Mercy on us, King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We've got power over all the powers of the enemy. We've got power and authority to trample, to go after and crush the head of that serpent and crush those scorpions and crush the power behind the enemy of our souls. As far as Reuben is concerned, the enemy of his soul is sexual weakness. The enemy of all the endowment and virtues he's carrying is sexual weakness. I want us to pray. The sexual dreams, now we are talking about sexual dreams that we have had in the past. Oh, we are still having now. There is a power behind it. I want us to pray. That power will die by fire or flood. If the if it the forces the if the if it is the powers that fire can't kill, eh? what are we kill them? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. If that is by fire or flood. If they escape fire, they cannot escape flood. In the name of Jesus Christ. The prayer I want us to pray is my Father in heaven. The powers behind the sexual dreams I have been having all through my life. When the worst, let me tell you, the worst is when you have those dreams and you don't know you had them. Praise God. That's the worst. So don't say you don't have the, you have never had or you are not having. Don't assume. Praise the Lord. The power behind the sexual dreams you have been having tonight it shall be switched off. Amen. That power shall be switched off Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
by the power in the name of Jesus. That's the authority we have. The power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it destroy by fire or flood. The power behind the sexual dreams you have been having in your life. Let them be destroyed now. Let the power, I mean, the power behind the sexual dreams, the power behind the sexual dreams, let them be destroyed by fire or flood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray in Jesus' mighty name. Reggae Devo Sakata, you are releasing fire and flood at the same time against those powers behind the sexual dreams that has been defiling you, that has been denying you dignity, power, excellence, your position, your elevation, your progress, your wealth, your health. Rakaturi brakatoma In the name of Jesus Christ, their end has come. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah, the son of the living God, the powers behind the sexual dreams that you have been having all your life. Let them be destroyed by fire and thunder. Be destroyed by fire or flood right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By fire or flood. Somebody pray like you have never prayed before. This is a season. This is a time the power behind the first, the power behind the wishes, the power behind the personalities that is responsible for the sexual dreams that you have been engaged in in the past and the present. Let them be destroyed by fire, by thunder. Let them be destroyed right now. By fire, by flood. By fire, by flood. Lebo si kataya, somebody pray. He kadabashanda, somebody pursue. Pursue them, pursue them in the spirit. Pursue them. Masakatore de. Lige de bosekete. Ribro sokoto ramakataya. Lebro koto robo. The blood of Jesus Christ is against them. The blood of Jesus Christ is against those forces, those powers, those personalities. By the blood of Jesus, by the fire and flood, let the powers, let the forces, let the demons behind the sexual dreams. Let them be destroyed now. Let them be destroyed now. The fire of God, the flood of the Most High, destroy them now. The powers behind the sexual dreams I have been having, the sexual dreams I have had in my life, the sexual dreams my children, my wife, my brothers and sisters, even my parents have had in their life. The power in the name of Jesus Christ, fire and lightning, fire and flood, Destroy them now. Destroy the power behind them. We've got authority over the powers of the enemy. The enemy behind, the enemy responsible for the spiritual, for the spiritual dreams. Hekatabashanda, sexual dreams. Hebrokoto Romosanda, Hindekerebosanda, Masonto Rebo, Ribra Gada Sataya. Let the fire of God, the flood of the Most High, destroy them, render them null and void. The enemy of my soul, visiting me sexually in the dream, the enemy of my virtues, the enemy of my endowments, pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the enemy of your greatness, the enemy of your marriage, the enemy of your favor, the enemy of your breakthrough, visiting you sexually in the dream. Let the power propelling them die by fire. Let the power propelling them die by flood. The enemy of your dignity, the enemy of your power, the enemy of your excellence, the enemy of your first position status, the enemy of your marital life, the enemy of your 
prosperity. Visiting you through sexual dreams. Let the fire and flood of the Lord visit them now. Destroy them. Destroy their powers. Destroy their powers. Destroy their powers. Let them remain destroyed. Sakadebosikadaya. Makado Shanda. Hendegedebosia. Rabra gada da 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 da. The powers propelling them. The powers empowering them. The powers moving them. The powers that have shanda, empowering the demons, empowering the entities, empowering the personalities, the enemy of your existence, the enemies of your soul that is coming after you through sexual dreams. Let the power in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, destroy their powers now, destroy their powers now by fire, by flood. Rabafori masoto lianda, ende de 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 mo shanda ba, mandos ke de lege de bosia, rabra gada ba ba ba, raba ba 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 ba, he gada ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, the Son of the Living God. When we are praying, just said this in the spirit. Do you know it is the same, the same dream you had that transfers to your children hallelujah it is the same power the same entity the same whatever you may call it that moves from jumps from father to children or mother to children so when that power is destroyed everybody in that lineage is free in the name of jesus christ Amen. the power behind them Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, El Shaddai. The power behind them, once it's switched off, the fridge will stop working. The air condition will not work again. Everything that power, powers. The power behind the sexual dreams that has denied us our firstborn position our excellency, our dignity, our virtue, that if that is even trying to wipe out a generation, that power will die from its roots Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The fire of God, they, if they survive fire, they will not survive flood. Mm. They are released against them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want us to take the next prayer. For two minutes, I want to pray. To pray. Mm -hmm. Let those dreams be reversed. Amen. Well, <laughs> let them be reversed like they never happened. Like they, they never happened. The Bible says, all things shall pass away. Yes. away. Let those, those dreams are encounters, they are orchestrations, they are triggers in the spirit. Joseph had a dream, he triggered a, a destiny. And after some years, he manifested. So this is what this, if these dreams are negative, assuming Joseph's negative uh, dream, like the one that Joseph interpreted in the dream, in the, in the prison, the guy's head was cut off. Mm. It was a negative one. But if they knew how to pray, praise the Lord. And the guy's head wasn't cut off immediately. He had the dream. After some days, it happened. Mm -hmm. Dreams doesn't end the day you have it. It mm -hmm. regards something that, that moves over time. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says he has given us authority, power, over the powers behind them. One thing is to have authority. Another thing to exercise it when to exercise it, and where to exercise it. The powers behind those entities, those demons, if they rise up tonight to fly, they will fall and die because the power is off in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to command to be reversed. Amen. To be reversed. That means what they have stolen, returned. They did pursued in the spirit. David took the effort, we talk about that tomorrow, 
he took the effort from the priest and said, give me the effort. Let me go into the presence of the Lord and fight this battle in the spirit. He went in and he fought the battle in the spirit. And he said, Father, can I pursue these people? And when he has prayed through, the Lord said, pursue. It was in that place that David, David got the victory. All the things David was doing in the physical were the manifestations of the victory he had in the spirit in the place of prayer. Pursue, overtake, recover all. It all happened in that section or in that area of prayer. We yeah. are dealing with the spiritual now. And as we overcome, while we move with our life in the physical, we will start to see manifestation. We start to see the things they have stolen from us come back to us in their thousands, in their millions, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth, I command Amen. to be reversed. Every sexual dream I have had in my life, I command them to be reversed right now, like they never happened before. Let my slate be wiped clean in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus, because of what Jesus Christ has done for me, has done for you, somebody pray. Let those dreams be reversed right now. Be reversed right now. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, who shed his blood for the remission of our sins and our salvation, who has paid the price, the, the debt that we owe, the debt that we accumulated because of sexual immorality, he has paid the price. Therefore, we command, we command that, so those dreams to be reversed. We we command them to be reversed. We command them to be reversed. Let those dreams 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 be reversed. Right now, like they never happened. Like they never happened. Like they never happened. He kabosanda kore ma kore masa. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Oh yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be reversed in Jesus' name. When they are reversed, the authority that took them away is cancelled. The legality is cancelled. Now we command to be restored. Everything they have denied you, every virtue, every treasure, every anointing, every wealth, David pursued and David recovered not only the things they stole from him, but the possessions of those ones as well. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Some rich men in your society are in cults. And if they can't get you in the physical, they come after you in the spirit. They defy people in the spirit. And they take their virtues and use it for their wealth. You see them growing while the people of the society is, is dying. Soul hunters, as Ezekiel 13 said, they made the people of, sad, people of God sad when God has not made them sad. Everything stolen from you due to, due to, due to, due to sexual dreams must be restored a thousandfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Every virtue, every honor, every dignity, mm -hmm. every praise, every power, mm -hmm. every glory, every riches. For one minute before we share the grace, lift your voice and command them to be restored. The one stolen from your fathers, be restored. The one stolen from your mothers, be restored. Hey, Kaba, the wealth they have made by siphoning your spiritual endowment and virtues be restored to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are the season of mercy from the Lord our God concerning these things, concerning these spiritual encounters that has defrauded us, that has embezzled our wealth. Harabashanda, we call for restoration now. Restoration now. The years, the years they have eaten shall be restored. In the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, let them be restored right now. Mado sekete, makado robo sakata, lebro sokoto robo sindere kete, rababa bakata yaba, let them be restored. 
Let them be restored. All wealth, all riches, all glory, all marriages, all peace, all joy, all wealth, all strength, all the health, all the years that the, the, these wicked enemies have stolen from us or that we have handed over to them due to our sexual escapades. They proceed I command restoration because of what Jesus has done. I command restoration of all, of all, a thousandfold with interest be restored now to our household, to our families, to this ministry, to our lives, to our soul, our anointing, our riches, our vision, our power to make wealth, our power to, of imagination, our power to create wealth, our power to heal, our power to cast out demons. Now be restored. Now be restored. Now be restored. Now be restored because of what Christ has done. In Jesus' gracious name, the power in the name of Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, is available to us. The authority we have, that's the authority we have over all the powers of the enemy. And tonight we trample upon them and crush them in the name of Jesus Christ. And they shall never rise again in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm -hmm. And we command, we, we issue a decree. When you finish this prayer, you issue a decree. Praise the Lord. They will not be reinforced. Joshua did something. He issued a decree that that war shall not be rebuilt. We are not dealing with flesh and blood. Hallelujah. Those powers destroyed will issue a decree by the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Shall never be restored in Jesus' name. Shall never be restored in Jesus' name. For one minute, I want you to issue, call your father's name, your father's name, your father's household. The powers that have been destroyed, that have been plaguing your father's household. We said, when we talk, we sexual activities and escapades relate also to idol worship. Praise the Lord. When Israel is engaged in idolatry, God said they have gone a warring. They've gone a whoring. They've gone prostituting. Glory to El Shaddai. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for one minute, I want you to issue that decree in the spirit of Joshua. Joshua issued a decree and said, let no man do this. And if any man will want to do it, they will do it with their own children. Glory to El Shaddai. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I call forth right now the Udugwacho household. I call forth right now the household of Spirits of Light Giving Water Ministries. The powers behind the sexual attacks. I issue a decree right now that shall never be replaced. They shall never be restored. In the mighty name, call your father's household as we finish now. You are not on your own. Praise the name of Jesus. You have to issue a decree. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. That this thing shall never recall again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are closing the door. Saint Paul came to a point that he said, let no man trouble me. He issued a decree, for I bear upon my body the marks of our Lord Jesus Christ. The powers behind the sexual escapades in the Dowager household, in the Sierra household, in the household of Prince of Light Giving Water Ministry. As Elijah, I stand before the Almighty God and I issue a decree concerning yourself, concerning myself, that these powers shall never be restored. These powers shall never rise again. These powers shall never be replaced again. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I issue this decree by the authority of Christ in me. Over your life, over your family, 
over your household, I issue this decree. In the mighty name of Jesus, those powers destroyed by fire, by flood, Himakuri Masanda, shall never be replaced, shall never be replenished, shall never be restored. Any, any entity from anywhere that we want to restore them, let the fire and flood of God answer them and consume them. We give you praise, Lord. We seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Son of the Most High God. We bless you, Lord, for answer prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, El Shaddai. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. We cover our prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. Our answers with the blood of the Son of the Most High God. Our household with the precious blood of Yeshua. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and we command the east, west, north, and south. We command the night, all nightly demonic activities. We suspend them in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power in the blood of Jesus, we suspend them. The nightly demonic visitation in Jesus' name. Amen. By the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, we release the angels right now in all the whole of our territory. No nightly demonic activity is permitted tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen and amen and amen. Shalom. El Shaddai bless you. God richly bless you. We thank God. Believe it and be expectant. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, if it is a human being that has been coming to defile you, watch out because the power behind them is destroyed. They Amen. will, if, if something starts to happen to them, they will come, they will call you, praise the Lord. But the most important thing is that we and our household are restored, delivered and restored. Our yes. virtues delivered and restored. Mm -hmm. Our future, health, wealth, marriages, businesses, destiny delivered and restored Amen. in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah. God richly bless you, Pastor Anne. Thank you for joining us. Can you, bless you, everyone. Good night. Thank you so much. Can you give us the last closing prayer, please? Father, we just want to thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father, we thank you for your words tonight. We thank you for the grace to travel in your presence tonight. We thank you, Lord, for all the prayers that have been made tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And we seal these prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that prayers will come to manifestation. We come against every form of demonic and satanic plans of the enemy against this prayer, every prince of Patia. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to withstand this prayer, we destroy them by the finished work of the cross of Calvary, the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you tonight as we go to bed that you'll be with us and we soak ourselves in the tsunami of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 And let's share the grace in fellowship and the grace Jesus, of our Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. the amen. love of God. God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Shall I bless you all? Please, I leave that prayer session with you. While you go to bed, while you're walking on the road tomorrow, whatever you do, continue to minister on that line. Praise God. Amen. All, all your family members by name, continue to hammer on it, continue to hammer on it. Glory to El Shaddai. And be expectant like, like Elijah. He was praying, though God asked him to go and God will send rain. He put himself in a position of prayer. As he was praying, he was expecting a sign. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be expectant as you're walking tomorrow. Be expectant. Any sign God gives you, amen, take hold of it. The moment God, Elijah got a sign, the cloud, the, thing, the, the size of a man's hand, he took hold of it. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. God will show us a sign. And we amen. Continue from Jesus' amen. name. 
Amen. Tomorrow we take another aspect of dream. Shalom and have a wonderful night. Thank Good you. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Shalom. Bye. Thank Shalom. you. Good night, Mom Patricia. Grandma Jen, God bless you. Um, from our mother Wilson, Pastor Minata. Shalom, shalom. God bless you all and have a wonderful night. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you, my dear. God bless you all. God, God bless, bless you. you. Yeah, nice. Barbara, God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Thank you.